Israeli warplanes carried out an aerial assault, launching a series of airstrikes targeting the Mamadiya area in southern Lebanon, state-run national news agency said on Sunday. The Israeli jets fired several air-to-ground missiles at the targeted area, causing explosions that reverberated throughout the Nabati and Iqlam al tuffa regions. Earlier in the day the Emergency Health Operations Center of the Lebanese Ministry of Public Health issued a statement announcing that the Israeli bombardment of the town of Edessa resulted in four people being injured. Among them, two required hospitalization for further treatment, while the other two were treated in the emergency room. The militant group Hezbollah said in telegram statements that its fighters carried out ten attacks targeting Israeli posts along the Lebanese Israeli border on Sunday, in Galilee and Golan Heights. More than 500 people have been killed in Lebanon by Israeli strikes since October 8, most of them fighters with Hezbollah and other armed groups but also more than 100 civilians. In northern Israel, 23 soldiers and 26 civilians have been killed by strikes from Lebanon. Hezbollah began firing rockets and drones at Israel shortly after the outbreak of the war in Gaza, which was triggered by Hamas' surprise attack into Israel on October 7. Israel has responded with airstrikes. Mourners attended the funeral of Turkish-American activist Asener Ezge Agi in Turkey on Saturday. Agi was killed by Israeli forces in the West Bank last week. The ceremony took place at the Didim Central Mosque. Agi's coffin was covered in a Turkish flag with a sign that read, Martyr, as it was carried by Turkish police officers. Agi, a 26-year-old human rights activist, was shot and killed by Israeli soldiers last Friday in the occupied West Bank, where she had gone to protest. A witness who was there, Israeli protester Jonathan Pollock, said she posed no threat to Israeli forces and that the shooting came during a moment of calm, following clashes between stone-throwing protesters and Israeli troops firing tear gas and bullets. The Israeli military said AG was likely shot, indirectly and unintentionally, by its soldiers, drawing criticism from American officials, including U.S. President Joe Biden, who said he was outraged and deeply saddened by her killing. <laughs> Ne yazık ki kardeşçe 
işgal güçleri tarafından şehit edildi. Aslında şehidimiz Ayşenur şahsında merhamet duygusu şehit edildi. İnsanlık duygusu şehit edildi.